Modern beauty standards are very different from those praised by poets and artists from previous centuries. Imposed stereotypes teach women about what size is right and what number of waist centimeters is too much, while lack of common sense and personal opinions often leads to very tragic results. These are the most stupid and dangerous ways to lose weight. Let's get it on. Parasites Probably the most extreme and insane way to lose weight is to take a special course, which consists, by the way, of just two tablets. The first one contains the eggs of the parasite, which after getting into your body hatch, and the young start growing inside your guts. They breed and prosper, and your weight slowly goes away, together with your life force. And just before irreversible changes happen to you, another tablet comes to the rescue. It contains poison, like real poison that kills the parasites. Seems like a cheap horror movie, to be honest. I hope there is no need to explain the possible effects of such a diet, if we can even call it that. A long rehabilitation period with a good doctor is the best you can possibly hope for. In the worst case scenario, you won't need any medical help ever again. Cotton balls. Another dietary insanity consists of consuming cotton balls. Eddie Murphy's daughter, a Hollywood star herself, managed to brainwash the multi-million audience of a popular TV show by advertising a cotton diet on camera. According to her, many models achieve their outstanding shape by eating five cotton balls at a time. The detail that the balls go better with water, and even better with water and a bit of lemon juice, sounded like a bad joke. But she was very serious, adding afterwards that soaking cotton balls in lemonade or even a smoothie make them hmm, pass better. Well, nobody would worry for movie stars who were known for sacrificing their health for a single role, if young teenage girls didn't take them as an example. We'll never know for sure how these experiments finished, how many girls tried and how many of them survived the diet, the same way as we'll never know what their parents would like to do with people who give such horrible advice on TV. Anyway, a friendly and hopefully unnecessary reminder, consuming items not intended for consumption can lead to serious disease and even death. Metal Net Dr. Paul Chugay's tongue patch is another attractive way to lose weight without strict diets and exhausting physical exercise. It's fast, easy, and painful. A flexible and light metal construction is implanted into your tongue. This causes intense pain and ruins all possible joy from food, making you eat less. Because, you know, it hurts like hell. The necessary nutrients are provided in a liquid form. The patch is used for a month and then taken off. Such a sadistic method, aside from being painful, is also very dangerous. First, some people can be allergic to the material that the patch is made of. Second, there is a risk of infection and separation. This can lead to sepsis and change of tongue tissue structure. And if that wasn't enough, in the worst case scenario, you can die. Though at least you'll stop suffering from the tongue deformation, sepsis, and all the rest of the horrors. Feeding Tube a medical tube is put through the nose into the stomach and used to deliver food directly to its destination, bypassing mouth and its taste sensors. The nutritive mix is rich in proteins and contains a minimal amount of carbs. The calories are supplied automatically or manually by the patient, if he is still strong enough to do it. The tube is put for a day. The procedure is not painful but terribly uncomfortable. Imagine going to work or study with a feeding tube sticking out from your nose, although I guess people who decide to lose weight like this might have more serious problems than this tiny aesthetic issue. Thai pills. To be honest, these tablets should be categorized as a bad habit rather than a diet, because yabba, as these pills are also known, are nothing but a drug. Like a real drug, a mixture of methamphetamine and caffeine, and even though drug addiction is the most difficult to treat, some nutritionists keep prescribing these weight loss stimulators to their patients. Synthetic medication not only provides sudden and very dangerous blood pressure jumps, but can also lead to seizures and even strokes. This drug destroys the central nervous system and the brain with all the ensuring consequences, dementia, personal degradation, and anime. Smoking and drinking. According to some specialists in extreme weight loss, smoking dims the feeling of taste and suppresses appetite. Two packs of cigarettes per day and the problem of overeating is solved. Real doctors, however, warn that the harm from such treatment overrides all the theoretical gains from weight loss, and is in fact as bad as if you gained 50 extra kilos. 
Recently, alcohol was added to smoking as an effective weight loss method. Most certainly, the theorists of this way get rid of excess kilos are alcoholics who can't quit but want to lose weight, and even more to find a convincing excuse to keep drinking. The Prana System and the last way to lose weight is going to be probably the most insane. Adepts of this diet, if it can be called so, just eat air. Prana fans are pursuing harmony with nature, and the most advanced of them can go without food during prolonged time periods. And in many belief systems, partial rejection of carnal delights, including food, is considered a way to clear your mind. But the key word here is partial. Nobody is talking about giving up eating at all, but everyone reads the scriptures according to their intellectual and educational level and interprets them correspondingly. Prana, or rather pseudo-prana, adepts, propose to not eating anything but air, it is well known that a human can stand without food for about 40 days, after which he or she would die of starvation. How and when are these people planning to prove this weight loss system is actually working? In their next lives, perhaps? Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video in social networks, and we'll be right back to you as fast as we can.